It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Tempest Brewing Company and it's a bottle of their Red Eye Flight Mocha Porter coming in at 7.4% ABV. There's a look at the label. Really, really like the sound of this one. Uh, established in 2010, Tempest Brewing Company in Scotland. 7.4% ABV, I did say 7.4, didn't I? Right, there's a, there's a look at the bottle cap. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the opening. Beer is av available from imperialbeerclub.com. Imperialbeerclub.com. 10 beers between £42 and £45 a month. If you're interested in a beer subscription service, then I can tell you from my own beer drinking experience from them that, that I'd say nine, nine, ten out of the beers that I have from them are absolutely fantastic. It's a really good kind of selection of beers that you get from them. Um, there's very, very rarely anything that is very average in there. It's all very good stuff. And look at this one for, for argument's sake. So if you're interested, check out the link in the description box below. Uh, this has got a two-finger tan-coloured head. Nice levels of carbonation rolling up the side of the glass. There you go. Jet black. Oh, look at this. It's bottle conditioned. Can you see all the sediment there in the bottom of the bottle? Looks good. Let's get the aroma. Mmm. I can smell fresh coffee, a little bit of bitter chocolate. Milk chocolate and real espresso coffee. It's, it's got a, an aroma of raisin, fig and plum. Quite vinous in the aroma. And the roasted malt shine, they really do shine. Really good. Another type of aroma, and that is of as it's coffee chocolate caramel. But all from the roasted malt, not from the added coffee bean that I mentioned, or maybe some milk chocolate in the beer. Some lactose maybe. Should we dive in? Cheers everyone. <laughs> wow, blimey. Wonderful. Stone the Crows. Stone the Crows. What a magical beer. A magical beer then. Um, the lactose that's been added to the beer gives a rich, dense creaminess to the beer. Itchy eye. Rich, dense creaminess to the beer. Um, it is biscuity and bready and thick and gloopy. It's got a really no nice mouthfeel to it. Carbonation wise, there's enough carbonation to push that beer, even though it's slightly gloopy and lactosey, around the inside of the mouth, and that releases more flavour. With it being slightly thicker than, than, than some beers, or, or a more of a medium mouthfeel, should I say, the beer sits there slightly longer before making its way down your throat. So it's kind of doing this. It's almost stroking the inside of your, of, of your mouth and it's kind of slowly moving down. A little bit like motor oil, if you were to dare to drink motor oil, which you shouldn't do. Um, so that then, as it sits there slightly longer, releases the chocolate coffee caramel from the roasted malt the mocha kind of espresso coffee bean that's been added to the beer and that maybe a little bit of milk chocolate that's this, this, this there in the beer it is not not synthetic it's not synthetic at all but it's it's definitely a little bit of milky chocolate in there it's lovely it's lovely 
Then the vinous qualities, that kind of red berry quality. Let's move over to that. I think I got a long hair that's just, just, it feels like it's there. I, I must be, must have been hanging around a woman today. I've got a big hair tickling my face as I'm, sp as I'm breathing through my nose, just blowing the hair back and forth. And I'm trying my best to, to hold my concentration for this beer review. Yeah, so, so the, the, the vinous qualities. Vinous, that translates to, to fig, plum, dark berry, raisin, that's what I was looking for, raisin and, and red grape, that's the vinous bit. Wonderful, wonderful beer. Nice bitterness on the back end as well from the hops. It is, it is got some nice hops in there and the hops are North American hops. And believe it or not, it's 50 IBUs. 50 IBUs, so there is a nice bitterness on the back end. The malt is Munich chocolate and black GP. And the flavor, I've just, I've, I've explained the flavor to you. I've explained the flavor to you. So yeah, this beer is available from Imperial Beer Club. Let's give it a rating. I've had, oh. One, one second, because they, they did mention the, uh, the the coffee. So this beer is cold infused with cocoa and Fazenda Pantano coffee beans to retrain to retrain retain sorry their fresh aroma and flavour. So so fresh coffee bean and a beer. I've had a few coffee porters and imperial stouts recently. Uh, I've had a few regular Imperial Stouts and I've had a few, say 6.5, 6 6% Stouts. This, if if it was in a blind taste test with some of these Stouts, it could very well come out on top. It's got a nice balanced coffee. Uh, some of these coffee Imperial Coffee Stouts and, and Porters, they can have too much coffee. I had one the other night and I was awake all night. They must have put, I don't know, half a bag of coffee beans in each bottle. And I drank this beer, I finished it about half past ten. I went upstairs, brushed my teeth and laid in bed like this. For, for like six hours. And I was thinking to myself, what, what was the point in that? Why did I do that? Um, in this particular beer, I think they just added enough of this coffee bean to enhance the flavour a little bit, just to add an, an, another dimension to the beer, another dimension of flavour to the beer. It's not predominantly to to um, uh, create some kind of breakfast beer, which I know a, 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 a name popular, but I don't know how many people actually wake up in the morning and open a 10% imperial kind of breakfast beer. I, I, I've never kind of met somebody who, who does that, but anyway, anyway. Let's rate it. Let's rate it. Red Eye Flight Mocha Porter by Tempest Brewing Company, 330 bottle, 7.4% ABV. Tempest Brewing Company up from Scotland. Lovely brewery. I've never had a bad beer from them. Uh, I think the first beer I ever had from them was Long White Cloud, which was an IPA, and I loved it. Anyway, this beer, 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 from Relo Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom and cheers.